So this past weekend we went to Anderson Ranch Reservoir kokanee fishing. We ended up with 18 kokanee and one trout. We did fish all day in order to get all 18. Um, something that we were doing, the techniques that we were fishing was fishing with flashers and uh, squids and flashers as spinners in about 10 foot range. And we're also pulling uh, pop gear, Ford fenders, brass Ford fender with spinners. Uh, the kokanee are still pretty shallow, but and it was pretty slow for us. There was others doing a lot better than what we did. But for the most part, we'd hit a school, we'd catch quite a few, and then it would uh, slow down again, and then we'd hit another school. It seemed like we couldn't stay on the same school and catch multiples out. Once we'd catch a couple, we'd have to go find another school that would want to play. So what I'm going to do is just show you one way that, that we like to cook up kokanee. So the first thing that we do is we'll be cooking them on the grill. In fact, kind of figure out how much tin foil we'll need. Something that I do since since the tin foil isn't wide enough is I'll take them. And if you just want to take them and then just join them together by rolling them together. And that way you can have a big enough piece to big enough piece to fit on the grill. So once I get a big enough piece of tin foil, then it's ready to go out on the grill. But first off, I, we need to prep what we're going to put on there. So what I do is I'll take the kokanee, I've already played them out, and I'll take them and I'll lay them on there. Slice up butter, put butter on, and then put your favorite seasonings. I actually like just doing salt, pepper, lemon, um, lemon pepper, garlic salt, seasoning salt. I've found that I like my fish more on the salty side and anytime I cook them for anybody it seems like there's kind of a fine line of too much salt but not enough salt and if you get it so a little bit more on the salty side it seem to taste better. So what I'll do is I'll cut up some butter into slices just a thin slice so that way we can line our kokanee. So now once we got a bunch of slices to put on there, then uh, something else we could do, we cut up a lemon and set that on top too just to get some lemon juice in it. So then once we get all of our ingredients ready, then we can go out and set this on the grill. I don't ever really preheat the grill. You can put on all your kokanee on it and then get it ready and then try to slide this onto the grill. I've always just found it's easier just to pack it out separate and put it on the grill. So we'll go out to the grill and get it set up and get cooking. So what you'll do is then you'll take your tin foil and you'll roll up the corners. You're pretty much just making making a big bowl. So what I've done is I've already flayed these kokanee out. I've taken off the rib bones, but I still have my pin bones in there, so we'll just have to watch out for them while we eat. And you're just gonna lay them out flat. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll take and just add a little bit of lemon juice directly onto the meat and what that does is it 
want to add flavor and a little bit of juice so it doesn't burn as much because you're not going to clip this in and then it also gets the fish wet Flattens up the fish a little bit, so that way your salt and pepper is going to stick to it. And then, like I said earlier, I like a lot of salt on my fish. And I'll do some, just some pepper. It's really just seasoning to taste. Just a little bit of garlic salt. A little bit of uh, seasoning salt. Maybe just a little bit more regular salt. And then you're going to take your butter. And you'll just take a couple of these slices and stick on there. Some of these on the tail you can break in half and just do narrow. Because so what's going to happen is this, as it cooks, you're just going to melt that butter all over. Then just top it off with a little bit of lemon. Then you'll fire up your grill. You're gonna cook it on pretty high temperature. Then just take and close your lid. And you're gonna end up, you're gonna cook this for roughly five to 10 minutes. I know that's pretty well, big range and stuff, but what you're really looking for is if you like it done, done as you take you're waiting for that coconut to start cracking apart so don't flip or anything just leave it there and what's going to happen is that skin will burn to the bottom of the tin foil and you can do and i'll show you is you'll just be able to scrape that sand, that coconut right off that skin and this technique works great for salmon steelhead trout uh, anything that you're leaving the skin on and you're grilling so we'll leave it here until and we'll Bella, check on in about five minutes All right, so it's been on there for about five minutes. So as you can see, it cooks pretty fast. In fact, it's probably got a little bit too hot, but it's still edible. And so what we're looking is you're gonna start looking for it to dry out and to start cracking. So I turned down the heat some, and now we'll just let it keep on cooking and let it split, start splitting apart and become done more. All right, so everything's looking pretty done right now. So what you can do now, instead of to save on mess, you're just gonna go and just scrape up against there and take that fish right off the skin. Like I said earlier, 
I like my fish cooked a little bit more. So I'll leave it on there longer. there you have it that's uh, one way that we like to cook our kokanee and now you just turn off the grill let it cool down let it cool down and then you could wrap that tin foil up and throw it away and it's a very limited mess so we're gonna go eat these and enjoy dinner stay tuned for other other videos subscribe and like us and follow our channel on YouTube we'll see you next time